Good morning. Okay, so for some reason I woke up at like 5.30 this morning. I did fall back asleep, but I felt really awake at that time. It was really strange. So I'm feeling kind of tired right now, but uh, got to get out of that. Headed to my school, usual, got a meeting today, and then actually some electronics parts are arriving today so I can work on some things actually I can build something that I've been waiting to make for a long time and uh, yeah and I'm not gonna be late today but I gotta leave right now okay let's go Hey, my parts. So once again, I pretty much worked all day. I think that's pretty usual for a Wednesday midweek. Gotta get stuff done. But I'm constantly trying to find new places to go and shoot. New scenes, I don't know. They're obviously not new to me because I've explored a lot of this area already. I also, also should mention I thought I was going to knock off my camera off the roof. I'm doing a time lapse right now. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to find new areas and it's not easy. It's especially not easy to get there in time for good light. I don't know. I have, time I have a hard time scheduling that. But uh, I'm going to try to head out to the peak. I've mentioned that a few times, but I haven't ever been there for sunset. And I think it could be cool. So I'm going to go there now. Okay, change of plans. I figured I wasn't going to make it to the peak. Also, the sun doesn't really look like it's going to be setting in a good place when I'm there. So I'll have to check that out when I'm not, like, rushing around. So, I'm a little bit aimless right now. It's the worst feeling, but I think I'm going to go check out a couple of spots. So, I hope my wind filter is still working, it's kind of coming off. Where I am right now is uh, the place where I, trying to block the wind, captured the Aurora Borealis here in southern Ontario, which is pretty amazing. It, uh, I got a Snapchat story about it, which is what I used to do before these vlogs, and, you, and they're all on YouTube. You can actually check it out here. And, uh, yeah, that, that'll be my Snapchat story, and I'm going to set up a time lapse here right now. Alright.
So I can hear rocks in my tires right now. And one time I had my hand out the window like this, and I was going about 80, and a huge rock came out of my oversized tires and hit me right in the hand. And it was probably one of the most painful things I've experienced in a long time. So something funny just happened to me on my way back, that last little bit there. I was coming down on a dirt road and the speed limit's like 40 or 50. And there's this guy like right on the tail of my truck. And he's super close, it's really annoying. And also previously he had just run a stop sign behind me, so I already didn't I already thought this guy was kind of an idiot driver. So we're going along this road and I'm basically going the speed limit, it's pretty rough, I didn't feel like beating on my truck. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And the whole time he's just right there and if I had to stop for anything he totally would have hit me. So when we get to the end of the road there's a stop sign and I'm going right so he's going left. So I just kind of sit there and let him pull up beside me and I just, you know, kind of look at him and I just give him a head shake basically like what are you doing? So he rolls down the window, he says, what's up? And I explained to him that it, I would appreciate it if he didn't drive so close to the back of my truck unnecessarily, like, what's the point of doing that? And it was really funny, he was super apologetic, he explained, he said he drives on that road every day, didn't realize he was doing it, and he just completely diffused the situation. Like, I wasn't angry, I was just sort of annoyed, but we got into this conversation, basically, and he's just saying, like, how's it going, and all this stuff. And it was really funny, because I thought he was going to try to argue, or be a jerk, or speed off, or just do something like that. But that didn't happen. And uh, I just found that really funny, that he was able to do that. It just shows you, you don't, you make this image in your head of the person who's behind you or you're not you're not in their world you don't know what's going on and you make you make them out to seem like this really annoying or some idiot driver and they turn out to be some really nice person still could be an idiot driver but was a really nice person and completely apologized for doing that and I just thought that was funny so that area is really cool like I said I got one of the coolest photos in the area I think by picking up the Aurora Borealis. That was pretty amazing. And I always go out there for meteor showers or anything to do with the sky because the light pollution's a lot less than it is here in Hamilton. It's still not great, but it's a lot less. And it's a really peaceful area. Always windy though. So, with that, it was a good night after a long day of working. So, be good, good night. Don't be a jerk and ride people's tails.